Apple fans, it looks like the iPhone 18 series is already stirring up excitement. And we're not even done talking about the iPhone 17 yet. From a smaller dynamic island to whispers of a transparent design, Apple's 2026 lineup could bring one of the biggest visual shifts we've seen in years. But before you get too excited about a completely whole-less iPhone, you might want to hold that thought, because the truth is a bit more complicated. According to FreshLeaks, Apple is reportedly working on reducing the size of the dynamic island on both the iPhone 18 and iPhone 18 Pro. That's right, the signature pill-shaped cutout might finally shrink, but it's not going away entirely. Despite years of rumors, the long-awaited under-display Face ID isn't happening just yet. Instead, Apple seems to be perfecting the design it already has, tightening up the sensors and improving usability while still keeping that recognizable look at the top of the screen. Trusted Chinese leaker known as Setsuna Digital claims that the iPhone 18 and iPhone 18 Pro will not feature under-display Face ID or an invisible selfie camera. Instead, Apple is developing a smaller dynamic island that will still house the Face ID sensors, while the front camera could appear as a punch hole cut out next to it. That means the familiar pill-shaped layout will likely remain for at least one more generation, just slimmer and cleaner than before. And honestly, that's pretty on-brand for Apple company rarely rushes major design changes until the technology is perfect. While other brands like Samsung or Xiaomi have already tried under-display cameras, Apple seems determined to wait until the image quality is flawless and reliable enough to meet its high standards. So don't expect a truly all-screen iPhone until maybe the iPhone 19 or even the 20th anniversary iPhone in 2027. Some insiders, including display analyst Ross Young, claim that even the iPhone 18 Pro will keep some visible face ID elements. According to him, the dynamic island is staying just in a smaller form. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman also backed this idea, revealing that Apple plans to shrink the cutout on at least a few models next year. So, we're not getting rid of the dynamic island. We're just getting a more refined version of it. But the front display isn't the only part of the phone making headlines. The real surprise could be happening on the back. Digital Chat Station, another well-known leaker, says Apple is experimenting with a semi-transparent rear design that could partially reveal the phone's internal components, including the MagSafe charging coil. Imagine an iPhone that subtly shows off its inner hardware while still keeping that signature Apple elegance. It would be a bold move, one that completely breaks from the minimalist design language Apple's been using since the iPhone 12. However, the transparent term here might not be purely about looks. Some experts believe it could actually serve a functional purpose, like improving heat dissipation. Rumors suggest that the iPhone 18 Pro models will feature a new vapor chamber cooling system made from stainless steel. If that's true, then a semi-transparent glass back could help regulate temperature by allowing heat to escape more effectively. That would be a smart way to fix one of the iPhone's most common complaints, overheating during gaming or heavy multitasking. Still, it's important to remember that these prototypes are constantly evolving. The iPhone 18 Pro Max is reportedly still deep in its development phase, meaning Apple could easily tweak or even scrap this design before production begins. The same thing happened with the iPhone 16, which went through several rear panel redesigns before the final version hit the market. So, while a transparent iPhone would be stunning, it might never make it to store shelves. Even if the transparent back doesn't happen, the idea shows something interesting. Apple wants to further separate the Pro models from the standard lineup, not just with performance, but also with identity. If the iPhone 18 Pro Max does end up with a translucent design. It could be Apple's boldest aesthetic shift since the iPhone 10 in 2017. There's also talk about the new C2 modem, Apple's next-gen 5G chip that's designed to fully replace Qualcomm's components. This custom modem should bring faster millimeter wave speeds, better signal stability, and improve power efficiency finally making Apple's in-house 5G tech a reality. With that, the company would officially complete one of its biggest transitions yet, total independence from Qualcomm. On top of that, the iPhone 18 Pro models are expected to feature next-generation LTPO Plus displays. These new panels could push refresh rates even higher while still managing power consumption efficiently. That means smoother scrolling, richer visuals, and better battery life something users have been asking for since promotion first debuted. The biggest performance leap will likely come from the new A20 Bionic chip, built on a 2 nanometer process, 
down from the A19's 3 nanometer. This chip could deliver up to 15% more performance while using 30% less power. That's a massive jump, and it could make the iPhone 18 one of the most efficient smartphones ever made. Apple's been quietly testing this chip with TSMC, and if all goes well, it could redefine how powerful a smartphone can be. The new camera control button is also rumored to be evolving. Instead of using both capacitive touch and pressure sensitivity like before, Apple might switch to a pressure-only system. This would allow for more natural taps, presses, and...